morning. Welcome to Great Transition Strategies Monday morning stand-up. Five minutes to get your week off to a great start and potentially give you something to make you a more effective leader. Today's topic, building a coaching culture. What am I talking Building a coaching culture, something you read about all the time in trade magazines, Harvard Business Review. So let's talk about that. I'm Gary Slyman. I'm an executive coach, and I work with leaders all the time, just like you, to help you become more effective and build clarity about who you are, where you're going, and how you lead. Building a coaching culture. So first, what is a coaching culture? Coaching. Let's go to the sports analogy. What do coaches do for individuals? and for teams. They help them play better. That's what they do. They help them play better by observing, getting feedback, and helping the individual or the team realize its full potential. So that's what you're trying to do when you're building a coaching culture in an organization. All right, what do, what do I learn? Working with individuals and working with teams, I've found there are three elements that make this work well. And these are the three elements, leadership, you, involvement at the top. Next, building a consistent framework that you're going to work around. And three, revisiting it on a regular basis. So let's pull those three apart and see how you could apply them to your team. Leadership involvement. This is not one of those things where you can say as a leader, this is what we're going to do, and then you walk away. This definitely needs to be leadership by example, where you are coaching as well and being coached. As an executive coach, I have a coach. It's something I believe in, and it's something that helps me get better. When individuals in your team see that, sets the example that you need. Okay, that's the first part. Number two, consistent framework. How are we going to do this? You are not trying to build professional coaches in everyone on your team. What you are trying to do are build some coaching skills that will build this culture that you want. So a consistent framework. Put that in place so everyone understands what it is. Gary, where do I get a framework? How do I do this? There's a really good uh, book out there, The Coaching Habit by John Benet Stanier. And I'm telling you, it's simple. The concept's easy. And just about anyone could put these skills to work, even if you don't use the whole framework. Really, really helpful. So that's one way to get started. But what does this do? When you have a coaching framework, now everyone has shared language, shared experiences. So when you come back together, you're all talking about the same thing. You're not doing it differently. Very, very helpful to do that. Number three, revisit it on a regular basis. This is something you need to keep coming back to. You need to keep coming back time and time again on, okay, how's it going? What's working? What's not working? What do we need to modify to make this thing work for us? So those taking the time to revisit on a regular basis, and I would think about it on, a bi-weekly, monthly basis, maybe quarterly, once, you're, once you get it established. Now you're going to bring from the top, here's what I'm experiencing, what's happening. Shared experiences, shared languages, how do we make this better? Remember, we said coaching culture. This is about building a culture in the organization. So that's something that you have to work on on a very, very regular basis. You have to bring it together. Simple concept. Again, concepts are simple. Implementation, not so simple. It takes a lot of discipline in order to do that. Thanks for listening. Hope you found that helpful. I hope you have an opportunity to help implement a coaching culture in your organization. Thanks for listening. Look forward to an opportunity for you to work with me. Join me next week, Monday morning, 830 for our next stand-up. See ya. Have a great week.